The major individual artist award is the Arts Council's most significant award which we give to artists. It's for £15,000, which is a significant amount of money. Jimmy McAlevey, in my view, is one of our most exciting voices. He writes boldly, he's brave, and he's not scared to tell new stories and stories which are surprising, unnerving and new. Um, Jimmy has been around for a while. He has written plays for Tinderbox Theatre Company. He's a Stuart Parker Trust Award winner. And he also recently had his first premiere at the Abbey with his play Monsters, Dinosaurs, Ghosts. Um, he's now got a major and it's the right time for Jimmy to be spending a more ambitious period of time developing two new pieces of work, O'Neill's Heirs and America. Okay, essentially what the award means uh, is that I've got time to write. I can take time off work. Uh, I, I work as a lecturer in creative writing at Queen's, uh, which is a busy job, um, a great job, but often doesn't leave an awful lot of time for writing. So you, you're trying to write over holidays and weekends and what have you recently over Christmas. Uh, what the award's going to do uh, is it means that I'm going to be able to concentrate on writing, try and do the best job I can. Um, you're always kind of consumed by the anxiety that you don't have enough time and you're not doing a good enough job for the public, the taxpaying public. Uh, I'm going to be writing two plays over the course of the award. Uh, one, a play called America, which is based on the true story of the Donner Party, which was a wagon train uh, that set off in 1847, the date's significant, uh, across America. Uh, they went the wrong way, led by a guy from County Armagh, uh, and they get stuck up the Sierra Nevada mountains in the snow, and they ate each other. Uh, the second play I'm writing uh, is a play called O'Neill's Heirs. Uh, there's a very famous true life character, uh, again, as I have no imagination, um, called Chief O'Neill, and Irish traditional musicians would talk about Chief O'Neill uh, and the book, which is in fact two books. Uh, Chief O'Neill collected three and a half thousand Irish tunes in the 1890s, early part of the 20th century, and he was really responsible for single-handedly saving Irish music. So both these plays, as you might have noticed, are set in America. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to get my work out there, ar around the world. I've got to learn a lot about writing a big show, particularly a big show with music, and to figure out how I can do that efficiently and do it in such a way that's attractive to really quite uh, cash-strapped theatres. If it wasn't for the Arts Council, I mean, genuinely, I, I couldn't have survived uh, as a writer. I mean, it's absolutely precious, priceless, what the Arts Council does. And they've supported me for 10 years now. Um, I rank it alongside the NHS. Um, there's a fundamental human instinct to create things. Uh, I don't know what the, I wouldn't speculate on what the value of that was, but it's something fundamental to, to human beings. And you know, thank God we still have a civilization just about, just about hanging on um, that recognizes that, just as we recognize that people fall over in the street, but pick them up and we try and make them better. Or just that we recognize that sport, although it mightn't have any uh, financial value uh, is worth it, you know, that we're just about more than the utilitarian kind of objectives that governments like to set.